This is usually the time when we introduce you to a Brooklyn bartender, effectively cutting out the middleman between the place where the booze was bottled and the bottom of your glass. Well, the middleman being the distributor who supplies the bar. In this instance, that middleman is Nicholas Palazzi, the principal at PM Spirits in Brooklyn. And in addition to heading up a bi-national, self-described uber-small operation of geeky spirits with outposts both, both here and in France, Nicholas Sources collects, ages, and blends cognacs, which he also releases in limited series. As a matter of fact, just this month, a collaboration between Palazzi and a Spanish winemaker yielded a single malt whiskey. The New York Times called complex and savory with wide-ranging flavors of toffee, clover, butter, iron, and salt. Sounds good to us. Yeah, that's high praise. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Welcome, Nicholas Palazzi, to BK Live. Wow. Thanks to uh, thanks for having me. I yeah. appreciate that. I was looking, I uh, was looking at you guys uh, from backstage, and I was like, kind of feeling sorry because you're drinking like water and tea and stuff. So that's I figured, right. So help us out. I figured, yeah, out. you should drink booze. <laughs> so this is what, what do we have I'm here? here for. So we're gonna do we're gonna do three things. We're gonna do a like a weird um, sweet wine made in cognac with cognac. Oh my so goodness. stuff, stuff is real good. Uh, it's actually like it, it's made in France. It's grape juice and cognac oh, put wow. into a cognac cask for four Ooh. years. What kind so. of wood is a cognac cask made of? So that's it's French wood, French oak. Um, they use uh, they use ex cognac cask, so you know cask in which they're used to uh, mm -hmm. age cognac in. And they're gonna do uh, grape juice, cognac, grape juice, cognac. They fill up the cask, and they let the they let the stuff age. Oh, it's nice. It's, sweet it's and a little yeah. smoky. That's the that the idea is like the it. stuff's nice. Yeah, uh, it works well with cheese. Uh, works well with desserts. Um, mm. And and it's you know you want you want to shell it maybe a little hot right now because yeah. outside it's pretty uh, mm. you know but it's uh, that thing is it's called Pinot de Charente mm. uh, it's kind of like hard to say but like remember Pinot like the Pinot Noir yeah. you just don't spell it the, the same way that's P I N E A U and you know it's uh, the idea is to like bring some stuff for people to switch it up a little bit you want to do sweet wines yeah there is like the the sweet wines from Bordeaux that everybody knows those kind of right. things. And then there's like weird stuff that small guys are making, and that's yeah. that's what we that's it's what we bring. It's hard to say, but easy to drink. Yeah, there. that's uh, yeah, that's uh, you 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 wanna you wanna be careful because if you <laughs> one could drink a full it's bottle a, of that yes. thing, it's the next I feel day. As though just smelling it. The I'm... next day is a slow day. That's uh, yeah. Okay. So okay. when a wine and uh, spirit distributor is not on BK Live pouring out drinks, what's mm -hmm. the job of the distributor person? Well, so there, there's two there's two aspects of the job. You wanna so you basically travel around and you go look for um, good people who make good stuff. People who care. People who've been doing that for generations. People who, you know, respect tradition are gonna make a, are gonna make a good product that they're really proud of. And then you're gonna you're gonna, you know, try to convince them that they should sell you the product. Let it bring to the U.S. Mm. Um, do all the stuff that needs to be done to be able to bring that thing here, and then uh, you know hit up uh, all the good places, um, good restaurants, good bars, good yeah. liquor stores. What it's, are some of the places in Brooklyn that you work with? Um, you know we do uh, we do well with uh, you know Brooklyn Wine Exchange, mm -hmm. um, slope sellers as far as retailers. Um, there's a uh, there's like Atrium in Dumbo, um, Beast and Bows. Um, that's uh, it, it's uh, there, there's there's a lot of people out there more um, you know supporting us quite a bit, awesome. and we're you know it's kind of niche, it's kind of geeky. People like that. Um, <laughs> so that's, what uh, are some of these other things here? Well, so that was to start with. Right? That was like 17 percent alcohol, 34 proof. So that's, that's easy. a lot. That's 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 easy. <laughs> Isn't that's that a lot? I don't know. It feels. Is it a lot? It's a lot. No, that's, a, that's not. It's not that's bad. it. That, that, that's that's wine. That's wine. That's a, this is this what is what time it is. Okay. <laughs> so now we're gonna do uh, we're gonna do the, the the whiskey that you guys talked about. The thing that was in the in the yes. New York Times last uh, last number this one. Is the... Out of the 20 they tasted, this was the Buena number mm, one. Number one, baby. Yeah. yeah. Uh, Show that New York Times out there. In that. Uh, so this is slightly higher proof, but you guys are trained professionals. Yes. So I can't think of the last time I had whiskey that wasn't a whiskey sour. If I'm oh. giving myself well, all a right. Rest. So this <laughs> Would is that be sacrilege. He speaks for himself. <laughs> Give me some. That's fine. Sour that's fine. I'm not, I'm, I'm not judging. I'm not judging you. Good. Um, 
it's uh, that's the that's the whiskey that may go into the whiskey sour, but that would make an expensive whiskey sour. Yeah. Um, that thing that's is <laughs> it's part of like three casks that we found in Spain with my with my boys uh, from Equipo in Avazos. Uh, they're Spanish guys. Um, mm. They source single cask of sherries. And so we Ooh, teamed up. Cherries. Yeah, we Ooh. teamed up and we decided to try to look for like cool stuff <laughs> in Spain. This is that's I told you. I told the you. The hair is coming off <laughs> my chest right now. Oh my god. Sam. That thing that thing oh is Oh my god. Abuelo. This is Mamacita. <laughs> this is 52.5 percent alcohol. So the what kind of a jump is that, Nick? <laughs> well, 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 what do you want to do? What do you want to do? You did go from it. zero to sixty. No, 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 no. We did zero. Zero is in your glass. It's, oh, it's in the mug right here. Zero, then we did 17. Zero, 17. Exactly. It's a 50. Exactly. Two, 50. Oh my goodness. Come on, Mel. Oh, down right. in one. No, 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 no. This so is going to take me the next three hours. You shoot. This is <laughs> no, 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 no. That, that, that's something. That yeah. You enjoy and let open up and. That's something. That's something that you savor. That's something that. You you um, smell, you drink slowly. Uh, this is something that you. Uh, um, this is for um, for Ooh. connoisseurs, if mm -hmm. you mean, if you want, mm -hmm. like people who want to switch it up, people who are into whiskey, mm -hmm. want to discover um, the other so stuff that's out there. Uh, so this is a single cask. This it's uh, foolproof, yeah. unfiltered, meaning there's no water added to it. It's just it's been bottled straight from the cask, yeah. um, and what I recommend with those um, spirits that are foolproof, yeah. um, no additives, no, color, um, no coloring added to it, no sweetener, no nothing. Just the stuff has been is a very in a very yeah. cool cask <laughs> in a cellar in Spain, bottled as is. Yeah. And uh, what you want to do is try to smell it, mm -hmm. take a first sip, uh, take a second sip because the first sip is going to be really to prime your palate. Like yeah. your, your your mouth is mostly like it's it's. All the water, right? Right. So, so you want the first sip? Don't don't uh, really pay much attention to it. The second sip, your palate is going to be a little more used to the alcohol, and that's where you're going to be able to uh, uh, to um, start getting uh, some of the uh, some some of the um, of the flavors. Iron and yes. butter. I taste fire. Yeah, it. right. So I taste fire. You <laughs> taste fire. Well, that's fire uh, is everywhere in me right now. All right. All right. What else Brooklyn. did you bring, Captain Kodak? Yes. And uh, we're gonna finish up with a cool rum. So that's uh, rum uh, I can do. Oh, we'll see that. <laughs> Uh, and this one's seventy-two <laughs> percent. Lies. <laughs> nah, the idea. The idea is like proof. You, you don't. You don't need to. You don't want to be scared by the proof. Of something like no. this is. The no, thing is, you me. have spirits out there at forty percent, eighty proof. Yeah. And the stuff is just not really well distilled. Not really well. And and even though it's forty percent, it's yeah. gonna melt your teeth. Just because mm. it's just. It's just not. It's just not well just made. It's just like crap. yeah. Um, now, pretty much. Now, there are stuff that are really well made, yeah. and uh, they are going to be foolproof, and the alcohol is going to be integrated. Then, again, I mean, those things, they're not necessarily for um, the beginner. Like, those things, they're for people who, you know, drink quite a bit, yeah. uh, in moderation, <laughs> obviously. Uh, but, like, you know, look for cool stuff. Um, yeah. and, and so this is, for example, that's a 16 years old rum. Oh, wow. Oh, Spent wow. five years in bourbon cask and yeah. 11 years in ex sherry cask in Spain. Um, so this is Ooh. pretty. Uh, this is going from cask to cask. If you like uh, belong to a super pack or something, if you're funding a presidential run, then you get this. You sit around and have cigars mm. and you drink okay. this. That's 51.5% okay. right. alcohol. Let's see. Uh, it's part of the same John project with Equipo uh, Navazos uh, that we uh, that we did. There's a lot of sherry to it. Oh, yeah. also sherry like. I round. can hang with this one. Yeah. Yeah. That other one woke me up, but yeah. this one. Is well, like, that's the yeah. thing. The thing is, your your palate gets used to alcohol wow. little by little. Yeah, yeah. So you know, the first again, the first sips of things that are foolproof. You know, you you wanna you you wanna your palate to get used to the booze. And right. sometimes you know, maybe foolproof is not your speed. There's no there's nothing wrong about it. Yeah. What you wanna do is maybe you can add a little bit of water. Maybe you can add, you can add a nice cube. Mm. But initially, you want to give the you want to give a part of the chance. Yeah, you want to see, you want to see how the stuff is yeah. by itself without anything else. Yeah. So and then you, you want water, you feel free to feel free to use water. So you know? Nick, I'm what's called in the business a girl drink drunk. So I wondered, sorry ladies, I wondered if there's anything in your portfolio that has training wheels on it that you can ease yourself into. You brought three of the finest things, but what's in there that you can just like Saturday night? 
I'm gonna be good. Well, we got a uh, we got we got some pretty cool uh, some pretty cool tequilas, blanco tequilas that are really really fine, really smooth. Even though I'm, I'm not a big fan of the word, um, we have some uh, uh, what else? We have some cool gins that you can uh, that you can mix okay. with, you know. Um, and uh, yeah, there, we we offer a wide array of product that awesome. you know from the beginner to the. Um, Connoisseur type stuff. Nicholas, we've got a few seconds left. How can we find you? Uh, that would be find your work. PMSpirits.com. Uh, there's everything on that website. And uh, yeah, thanks a lot for having me. Appreciate it. Thank you for joining yeah. us. Salud. I don't know that you'll ever be invited back, but this is. Been... <laughs> This has been fun. I love it. <laughs> this Thank is serious you so business. Much. Thank you so much.